What went through your mind when you were watching the squad? Well, several things went through my mm, mind. Clearly. First things first. My God. <laughs> <laughs> These boys. I mean, Duke. They, they, whoa. College basketball, at least with Duke, is must-see TV. One of the most hyped freshman classes of all time. It wasn't a debut. That's an experience. Because every player on the floor can take their defender right. at any time. That Duke is going to be fun to watch this year. Yes, they're going to be a little Alabama. Part of becoming good is keeping the noise out of your locker room. And when something good happens and you have the start of the season and whatever, there's a lot of noise. There's a lot of noise. And so there's, and, and for us, it's not always good noise, but, uh, but in this case, it was exceptional noise. Exceptional noise. Whereas an 18, 19 year old, when you have four freshmen and guys who have, we don't have veterans, uh, you have to be more mature about listening to that. And I don't think we handle that well. Playing Army is, uh, is, is special for me. Uh, I'm a graduate of the United States Military Academy. I uh, coached there for five years. That's where I got my start. Uh, it's so much a part of me. It's a huge part of me. You know, I still go and speak to the Corps of Cadets every year. They have a, an award in honor in my name. and I believe in West Point. I, I, I've been so very fortunate to be at two of the greatest schools in the world, uh, the United States Military Academy and Duke University, and to have their team come uh, and play on our court on Veterans Day is an honor, and uh, you know, I admire those kids who are going to become, they're going to serve our country and, and preserve our freedom. So uh, let's welcome them and then hopefully do a good job against them. What's up, Duke Blue Planner? I'm here with Cameron Reddish. He had a really good game. Uh, describe your first time playing in Cameron. I really can't. Uh, it was crazy out there. Cameron Crazy was going crazy. I seen a few Cam fans on the arm. It was, it was a really good experience. Good experience. I liked it. I liked it. It was a great experience. Um, you hit a couple big threes. that got the team going. Uh, what was going through your mind when you caught the ball? I had to knock it down. I knew it would get us going, get the crowd going. So um, I, I just tried to make just do the best I could, make the shot. All right, all right. One thing the fans want to know, are you Jam fam or Cam fam? Cam fam. You can't, you can't be both? I mean, I could be both. Am I, am I in? You're both, bro. I love it. <laughs> all right, Duke Blue Plan, we signed it off. It was very exciting playing our first time in Cameron. See y'all next time. They're in trouble. Ford is shooting a long way from the hook. Thornton, desperation. Oh! Yeah! Smile. So, you know, in Maui, you know, obviously that tournament, you know, great history. Had a little bit of pressure on us. Duke had never lost in Maui. The coaching staff definitely told us about it and, and challenged us to step up to the plate. You know, that game versus Kansas, 
whole game going back and forth. At the end of the shot clock, you want to try to get a shot off. Uh, we were kind of in a scramble, so when I got that last pass, I just kind of glanced at the shot clock. And you know, I kicked my leg, I was just trying to, and, and praying that you know the guy would kind of run through me and, and draw the foul. Uh, I wish I would, could say I, I knew I was going to make the shot and just kind of end up hitting the bottom of the net. Um, and you know, just kind of getting that, get that excitement and look, look to my teammates on the bench. They were going crazy. You know, the coaches were going crazy. Fans were going crazy. One of my favorite memories of all time uh, as, as a Duke player.